There are four ways I can defend murder. Number one, it wasn't murder. It was suicide or accidental. Number two, you didn't do it. Number three, you were legally justified, like the protection of your home or self-defense. Number four, the killing was excusable. Where do I fit into this rosy picture? I'll tell you where you don't fit. You don't fit in any of the first three. Hey folks, it's the Blind Guy here coming back at you with another good old movie recommendation and we are recording this in the middle of a thunderstorm so we'll see how this goes. On this episode we're taking a look at 1959's Anatomy of a Murder starring Jimmy Stewart and George C. Scott. This movie centers around Jimmy Stewart who is a quote unquote washed up attorney much like the verdict but this came out first. And his office is struggling to stay open because he has no cases. He's a bachelor. And then he is given a case that is interesting, to say the least, and unique. It centers around a uh, military officer who has killed a bar owner for allegedly raping the military officer's wife. And they're going to see if they can get him off for this because is that justifiable? Is it something that you need to be punished for? That's the big rub of the movie. There's a totally different, uh, this movie takes a totally different angle than I actually thought the first time I watched it. Now after watching it the second time, because I always try to watch movies at least twice before I review them, I think the movie's ending is a complete 180 from what I originally thought the first time. So if you watch it, let me know what you think actually the ending means should the guy get off should he not let me know what you think because i think the movie took a different angle than i initially thought the first time which in my mind makes it a pretty good movie because just for that alone it makes you think and actually makes you maybe misinterpret the ending a bit this movie was very controversial when it came out because it has the word ready ready for it not the word ready but ready for this panties yes the movie has the word panties in it and that was just apparently the worst thing you could say in a movie at that time so it had a lot of controversy for that reason additionally the movie is fairly long it's almost three hours i think it's two hours and 45 minutes but it keeps your attention fairly well the courtroom drama is well done sometimes there's some jokes made that they're that kind of 1950s humor that's really not all that funny these days. And the crowd all laughs and the judge kind of gets a kick out of it. And you start thinking to yourself, this is a murder trial. I'm not sure if they'd actually be making wisecracks in the middle of a murder trial. That's one of the issues I have. Um, other than that, though, the movie really is pretty good. It, it scores an 8.4 on IMDb, which is a really high rating. I would probably give it an 8.1 just because I think it is a little little long for what it really is. But if you like courtroom dramas, 12 Angry Men, The Verdict, things like that, I think you'll enjoy this movie. Um, it is an interesting premise that, you know, is there such a thing as a justifiable homicide when self-defense and insanity, like true insanity, are not in play? So also let me know what you guys think about that. So those are my thoughts on 1959's Anatomy of a Murder. It's often compared with Witness for the Prosecution, which I'll also be doing a review of. And maybe I'll let you know which one I like better in that review. Got to keep you coming back, right? You're going to see a 100 sub challenge video come out as we are going to break that 100 sub mark. If you want to support this channel and want to also watch the movie, you can use the link in the description to get to it. If you want to support the channel and not have it cost you anything, you can also just open up Amazon using that link and buy whatever you want. That helps the channel and it does not cost you any extra. If you want to sponsor a video, let me know. Send me an email using the email in the description below and we'll set something up. I thank you guys so much for all your support. We're going to break that 100 sub barrier. I just know it. And then we'll do the challenge when that happens. I'm going to start doing some free giveaways as well, just to continue building the channel. Like I've said before, I do this for fun, but it is a lot of fun when you guys are watching the videos and engaging. So I appreciate everything you guys do for the channel. And you're going to see some more videos coming out. 
So I survived the thunderstorm. We can persevere when we put our hearts to it and minds to it, right? So I'll see you on the next episode of A Blind Guy's View. Big thunder. Laters on the Menjay. Laters on the Menjay.